there's, in my biased judgment, a lack of intellect, a lack of care, a lack of people in the team that Boris has got of his sort of cabal um, to take on some of those big challenges. And they're not all about money, they're think... about changing things. If dodging the debates on climate, hiding in a fridge, refusing to do these things is a good result, then what will happen is people keep doing that. No, it's very easy to forget that uh, most people switch off, don't want to hear, and they only hear the messages which really get repeated and, and sort yeah. of push their way through, rather like Boris doing that, that, that trick with the digger and the, and the um, foam plastic bricks oh, the yes. other day, you know. Um, and, and, of course, that's why they kept, 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 kept repeating, you know, get Brexit done, because because that, then the message got through. And apparently that one did, did get through. narrative going into the campaign, which was built up uh, by the media generally and, 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 and perhaps you know, behind-the-scenes campaigning, was that... We, this country must not elect Jeremy Corbyn. He's a danger to the country. Um, you know whether you, whether that's true or not is, is irrelevant. That was in people's heads. That was the that was what they had to turn around. There and absolutely huge clangers dropped by the Conservatives increasingly towards election day. Uh, didn't turn it round at all. Uh, people just said, "Well, you know, I'd rather have a, a you know a, a clown than someone who's who's a danger." I don't think many people voted for Boris because they thought he was a nice personality. They thought he, you well, know, it's get Brexit done. It. Yeah, so, so, so it, it was that slogan. And, you know, the fact that it's a load of rubbish, that, you know, we will not suddenly get Brexit done, it's all, you know, click your fingers and it's all solved, um, is, is, you know, is a tragedy. And, you know, it'd be interesting to see how Boris copes with the fact that his slogan in five years' time will probably have to be, we're still going to get Brexit done, we're still there. But since Brexit isn't, whatever he might say, isn't going to be done by the end of, uh, end of January, it is going to be a long process, much will depend on how that narrative of a long process is spun. Is it we've been let down by the, by the Conservatives, in which case you could easily have a a sort of return to another, uh, to, to you know, the former uh, loyalties, or is it they've been um, foiled by the fiendish enemy, whoever that might be? Now we've just had it where the enemy was Parliament, but it could easily be, you know, the EU in the negotiations or something like that. So it all depends on how the narrative is spun, and if the narrative is that he's doing his best and he's up against forces who are trying to do him down, therefore, then you 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 know, you could easily carry on and rally round and support him. So the draw agreement says that if we want an extension um, to uh, Past has to be done by the end of June, so the next six months are critical. Um, there's nothing like enough time to do the sort of trade negotiations that he wants to do by next year. But that, so you know, the the option then is if we if he, he's either going to have to ask for an extension by the end of June, or you know, we will then have to finish the negotiations by the end of the year or leave on no deal. You know, as, as I say, I just don't know where he stands. I don't honestly d think that he's the kind of guy that, be, that would be interested in, in a no deal. I don't think he ever has been. They didn't really tell. They didn't really... I yeah, mean, several high-profile Conservatives were asked that and never, yeah. ever ruled it yeah, out. Yeah, that's all blah, 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 though, isn't it? If people think suddenly all the European flags and rules and everything else disappear from their lives, I think they're in for a surprise because um, you then have this sort of transition period during which there were negotiations for a trade agreement. And all the talk of that sort of being done and being an, an extremely uh, favourable trade deal because that's all guaranteed in advance and that this will be done, I don't know, by, by Christmas next year or something. You know, forget it. That That is a, a yeah. long and very difficult process. I just think there was a little bit too much London, too much idealism. Let's get down to brass tacks was missing from some of it. But I think... We, 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 we persuaded the electorate quite well in 2017, but roughly on a similar pitch, we got thumps yesterday. But we still got Cambridge. And actually, as I say, if we'd said straight away, our preference is to not do this, we do not agree with the Conservative and Labour MPs who voted to, to, to bring in Article 50. We would still remain. If we'd, said, if we'd said, right, us up, that's our preference, and we'll campaign for a people's vote to get there, you know, unless we haven't have a majority. If we'd said that from the start then I think people wouldn't have seen it as a switch. But people were able to present it as not supporting the people's vote, which was still the core of, of, of what we were saying. So I think we, uh, I think it was a, a sensible policy. I think we should have adopted it a few years earlier. And I think we catastrophically failed to persuade people of what it was. Is he going to change the cabinet? I mean, the, the, the previous cabinet could have been chosen almost to troll Remainers, you know, I mean, he couldn't have picked, the day he announced that cabinet, he couldn't have picked a more outrageous set of candidates, you know, 
full of people you thought they'll never get back into cabinet again you know bang home secretary or whatever you know it's it's astonishing now is he going to stick with that or we just don't know where johnson stands he could be anywhere cambridge 105 radio 